What's up, drumheads? In this case, are quite possibly the best sounding, most beautiful looking drum mics on planet Earth. So this is the Earthworks DK7 drum mic kit. And before we get into this, I'd like to send a huge thank you to Mike over at Earthworks uh, for sending me these beauties. Also a big shout out to Drumio, whom this channel is a partner of, uh, for making this connection possible. So let's dive in and check out what we got. In the case, well first off, look at the case, I mean, this thing is built for war. I could probably stand on this thing. Yeah, these mics are never getting damaged. But inside the case, we have the meat and potatoes. You get four DM20 mics, two SR25 mics, and one Neuralizer from Men in Black. Just kidding. This is the SR20LS, and it's a kick drum mic, but I'm gonna call it the Neuralizer. Right off the bat, let's just comment on the look of these things. These look beautiful. I love this stainless steel, like CNC lathed, machined look. To me, it just screams futuristic. Like, if Apple made a microphone, it would probably look like this. Now we can talk all day about how beautiful these mics look, but the real question is, how do they sound? I'm gonna do some A and B testing uh, against my old mics versus these new Neuralizer mics. The mics that I currently have are the Sennheiser E604s on the snare top, bottom, and all the toms. I use a Shure SM81 as an overhead, but typically put it on my hi-hat side. And the Audix D6. This is a great kick drum mic. I believe the mic kind of cuts the mids, which gets rid of the muddiness and uh, creates a nice, fat, punchy sound uh, with minimal EQ. So I'm really curious as to how the D6 will sound against the Neuralizer. Now that track I was playing along to is called Broadway Hustle, and it's from Drumeo's play along section. Sometimes it's more enjoyable to practice along with other instruments instead of a clave. It drives me insane. So if you want some sweet play alongs to use, click the link in the description for a free month of Drumeo. Aside from play alongs, you can explore the variety of courses, participate in live streams. That's a new username. Brandon, is that, is that the Brandon Scott? It is. Use their practice tools and track your progress. It's honestly such a beautiful website for us drummers to use if you feel like you're in a creative rut and need some inspiration. Because if you're like me, you sit behind the drums and you're like, I don't know what the fuck to practice. So let's talk about these mics. I don't know about you, but I feel like they sound incredible. To me, it just sounds real. Like that's legit what my drums sound like. Like if you were here in the room with me, that's what my drums would sound like. And now when I hear my old mics, it's like some fake compressed, like weird, you're in a tunnel or something. I don't know, I can't explain it. But the earthworks just bring out the most natural sound. It's, it's like you're in the room with me. I'm no mixing god, I'm no audiophile, 
Uh, I try my best, but uh, to me, they just, they sound phenomenal. And I'm very surprised at how good the kick mic sounds. Typically you would think the bigger the diaphragm, the better the sound because it's like bigger, but maybe in this case, bigger isn't better. And I found this out the hard way, but because the kick drum is blowing air out the hole, you gotta make sure to have the windscreen on the mic. Otherwise it's gonna pe- Son of a bitch. Thank you for participating in today's video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed today's content, feel free to like and drop a comment below on how we may enhance our user experience as we strive for quality, not quantity. Have a blessed day. Blessed. Have a nice day.